So now we will go with electrical measuring instruments wherein current is the quantity responsible for the uh, action of the meter or actuating quantity is current for electrical measuring instruments. For any electrical measuring instruments, there are three essential torques. They are deflecting torque, controlling torque, damping torque. These are called as essentials. Essential torques or without these torques, we cannot operate any electrical measuring instruments. So what is deflecting torque? So generally we will see a basic structure of a basic measuring instruments, electrical measuring instruments. How, how does it look? You have the body of this like this and you have a glass on which inside which you have a calibrated scale and on this scale there is a pointer which will be moving, isn't it? Yeah. So you have a, a pointer over here. Pointer will be moving. What is the motion of the pointer if you have observed? Is it, uh, isn't it circular motion? Yes, it is circular motion. A restricted circular motion basically. So, to produce a force which causes circular motions, what is that force called? Torques, isn't it? Yeah, torques. So therefore, we have torques in measuring instruments. So deflecting torque. Deflecting torque in the sense, deflect. Move its position. Initially, when there is no current or there is no uh, energy supply to the meter, where does the pointer will lay? On the zero position. So, if I connect this meter to some circuit to measure some value of current or voltage, then what should happen? The pointer should deflect, isn't it? The pointer should deflect in order to show the what value is there. But these instruments are usually very sensitive. For even small or a huge value of the current or the actuating quantity, the deflecting torque will be produced and the pointer will be point to the maximum position. So, basically, I can now I can def I can define deflecting torque is that. The torque which enables the pointer to move from zero position. But deflecting torque causes the pointer to point at the maximum position. The maximum position. Let us say, uh, assume or let us, take, let us consider this meter uh, which we are measuring is 0 to 10 amperes. It can measure from 0 to 10 amperes. I am passing a current of some 2 amperes. Let us say 2 amperes of current is being passed. What should the meter show now? It should show 2 amperes. But when the deflecting torque came into existence, when the current is flowing, it always points to the uh, to the last value or the full scale value. But now we have we have uh, there is a need of somebody to control this uh, overaction of the deflecting torque or the pointer to control it and put it back to the steady state value, which is two amperes. And therefore, we have something called as controlling torque. So controlling torque is a torque which opposes the damping torque, or sorry, deflecting torque. Controlling torque opposes the deflecting torque and it puts the value at the steady state value or the value of uh, measurement, original value of the measurement. So deflecting torque causes the pointer to move towards the full scale and controlling torque controls it and uh, it holds the pointer where the true value is there. So due to the action of true value, it comes to amperes. Now, the pointer is experiencing two forces. One is two motion, another is from motion, TD and TC, both in opposite direction. So the pointer will be oscillating about this equilibrium position. Or in a sense, it will be oscillating. So this is again a difficult case. You can't uh, take actual reading what is the true value because it is oscillating about that equilibrium point. It should stop at one point. And then we have to damp those vibrations or oscillations. And hence comes the damping torque concept. Damping torque, it, uh, it reduces the damping or the vibrations of the pointer about the equilibrium position. And then uh, this is the function of damping torque. So with the availability of these three torques, the operation of electrical measuring instruments become successful. Now, we have to, let us see, uh, how to obtain these three different talks and subsequently we will see the applications of these things and various types of meters. How can deflecting torque be produced? So the answer is by utilizing any effect of electricity, you can produce deflecting torque. So what are the various effects of electricity? Let us see over here. Magnetic effect, electrostatic effect, 
थर्मल इफेक्ट इंडक्शन इफेक्ट केमिकल इफेक्ट एंड हॉल इफेक्ट सो मैग्नेटिक इफेक्ट हाउ डू वी गेट मैग्नेटिक इफेक्ट फ्रॉम इलेक्ट्रिसिटी वेल वी नो दैट एनी करंट कैरिंग कंडक्टर हैज अ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड अराउंड इट एंड देर फॉर इट देर इज अ मैग्नेटिक इफेक्ट ऑफ अदर सो वी रिक्वायर्ड फोर्स राइट सो हाउ डू वी प्रोड्यूस फोर्स बाई यूजिंग मैग्नेटिक इफेक्ट सो दिस इज नथिंग बट द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ ए डी सी मोटर वट इज द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ ए डी सी मोटर इट वर्क ऑन लॉरेंस लॉ वॉट इज लॉरेंस लॉ से Lorentz says that whenever a current carrying conductor is placed in a magnetic field, it experiences some force, and that force is given by F equal to B I L sine theta, where B is the flux density, I is the current through the conductor, or uh, L is the actual length of the conductor which is placed in this B magnetic field, and uh, sine delta is the or uh, sine theta is the Angle between the flux and length of the conduct. So, in this manner, we can get uh, magnetic effect. And uh, instruments uh, producing deflecting torque by means of magnetic effect can be used to measure AC as well as DC quantities. And electrostatic effect. Electrostatic effect in the sense, where do you find the principle of electrostatics? Usually in a capacitor. So. what happens in a electrostatic capacitor or electrostatic uh, technique is you have a capacitor with two plates right and between there is a dielectric material placed so in this electrostatic type of equipment you have two plates but one of them is fixed the other one is movable and this movable one carries the pointer so when you are applying the voltage across this uh, capacitor it develops some internal stresses or dielectric uh, stresses are being developed inside and some electrostatic forces are acting on the both plates and this electrostatic uh, forces are good enough to move this movable plate and the force produces this directly proportional to the value of voltage and hence we get the deflection torque and the electrostatic uh, meters are uh, they can be used for ac or dc but uh, preferably electrostatic meters are used for measuring voltages high voltages not current and magnetic effect can be used to measure current and voltages and even uh, power and the thermal effect thermal effect uh, we know a thermocouple isn't it so uh, by means of thermal effect uh, we get uh, uh, different electron we get produce or uh, simply by metallic strips due to change in temperature or increase in temperature the metal will uh, just bend down it, uh, it moves the system and uh, we have induction effect induction effect is principle of uh, induction motor principle um, yeah when uh, two fluxes in quadrature with each other are acting on a aluminum disc it rotates a force will be acting on it so that is the induction effect and then we have chemical effect as well as hall effect also Thank you.